Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna see the do while loop in C. So this do while loop is pretty much similar to the while loop, but uh, you know in while loop we used to test the condition at the beginning of the loop, but um, you know in this do while loop we're gonna check the condition at the end of the loop. So the syntax of this do while loop is here. So as you can see, first we're gonna write um, the keyword do then a pair of curly braces and uh, within that uh, curly braces we have to specify the statement of that um, uh, loop after that we're gonna write while and the condition so uh, irrespective of the condition we return here you know the body of this do while loop or these statements will be executed at least once and then the condition is checked if this condition is true then these statements are executed again so when this condition becomes false you know um, this loop is gonna terminate so now in this tutorial we're gonna see how we can use this do while loop in our program so so here for the demonstration purpose we need a counter variable so I'm gonna create it it's gonna be counter and I'm gonna assign it with a value of 1 so next we're gonna write our do while loop so we're gonna write do then a pair of curly braces and within this curly braces we have to specify the statement of this do while loop and at the end we're gonna write while and uh, within this parenthesis we have to write the test condition so in this do while loop body we're gonna write the printf statement and we're gonna say hello and uh, that's our new line and we're gonna increment this counter variable that's that's because you know at some value of this counter variable you know this loop must terminate so here within this parenthesis we're gonna write the condition so let's write uh, counter is less than 10 less than or equal to 10 I'm gonna save it so what happens here is uh, we begin our program with initializing the counter variable with a value of 1 so next we're gonna execute this do while loop so first it's gonna print hello and then it's gonna increment our counter variable and uh, uh, after that it's gonna check the condition to see whether it has to you know execute this statement again or not so first I'm gonna save this compile it and run it so as you can see here we have printed this hello 10 times so that's because you know when this counter was 1 you know it just printed this hello then this counter became 2 and it checked whether this counter is less than or equal to 10 it was true and similarly happened until this um, counter was you know uh, less than or equal to 10 so when this counter became 10 you know this condition failed that's why the control came out of this loop or this do while loop terminated so now we're gonna close it and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this condition to fail at first run so we're gonna make this counter less than or equal to 0 so now we have this counter equal to 1 and uh, it's gonna execute the statement inside this do while loop at least once so it's gonna print hello once and this counter is gonna become 2 and at the end it's gonna check for the condition so this this 2 is not less than or equal to 0 so that's why this condition is gonna fail at the first run so I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see here you know the test condition is is failing at the first run then also we are printing or executing the statements within this do while loop at least once so I'm gonna close it this is about you know what is a do while loop and how we can use it in our program so next thing is what's the use of this do while loop or where we can use it most commonly this do while loop is used in the menu selection function so depending on the user input you know you know if the user enters some invalid response you know that menu will be uh, redisplayed so this is it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial